Welcome, the Lord be with you. It's great to welcome you to our all age service uh, today. We're going to be thinking a little bit about a story from the Acts of the Apostles and finding out what Peter has been doing since Jesus has risen from the dead. Uh, but first of all, we need to welcome one another to our service today. So if I can get you to join in in the usual way, we're going to use our welcome words as we say hello to one another. So, young and old, we welcome you. Happy and sad, we welcome you. Regular and visitor, we welcome you. Quiet and noisy, we welcome you. In our homes and on our computers, we welcome you. It's so good for us to be able to join together this morning uh, on this bank holiday weekend and reflect a little bit, think a little bit about what Jesus uh, means to us. But to start off with, I'm going to ask you a question. We're going to pause the video in a moment so we can talk to the people we're watching with uh, and share some of our answers. So here is my question. What is the best thing that anyone has ever given to you or shared with you. What is it that made it so special? I'm going to hit pause on the video and have a chat with the people around you and then share some ideas with one another uh, about what it is that the best thing anyone's ever given you is. So hit pause now and then we'll talk a little bit more. Hopefully you've had some great ideas and great thoughts uh, as to what it is uh, that the best gift you've ever been given by someone is. Uh, and we're going to think a little bit more about that in our story today from the Bible. Now our story happens in a book in the Bible uh, called the Book of Acts. And that's the story all about the disciples and what they did after Jesus had gone back to heaven to be with his father. They started the church and started to tell everyone they met the good news all about Jesus. So to think about this, we're going to watch a video from Saddleback Church uh, in America. It's from their Stories in the Bible series. And we're going to watch the story of Peter heals a beggar who can't walk. So let's watch that story now. Stories of the Bible. Peter heals a beggar who can't walk. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. As they neared the temple, a man who couldn't walk from the time he was born was being carried in. Each day, the man was put beside the temple gate so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for some money. Please help. Peter said, look at us. The man looked up at them eagerly, thinking that they would give him some money. But Peter said, I don't have any money for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Then Peter took the man by the hand and helped him up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. Woohoo! He jumped up and began to walk, then walking, leaping, and praising God. Come on! He went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. Wait, is that? I think so. When they realized he was the man who couldn't walk who had been sitting outside the gate asking for money, they were absolutely amazed. Wow! Peter asked the people, what's so surprising about this? Why stare at us as though we made this man walk by our own power? He reminded all of the people that it was God's power who healed this man. 
and encouraged all of them to turn from their sins and follow God with their whole hearts. That's a great story, isn't it? A fantastic story from the Bible, and I hope you have enjoyed looking at it. And in it, we saw what Peter's answer might have been to our first question that we started at the beginning of our service with. What is the best thing that you have to give to someone else? And Peter gave that beggar the best gift that he could imagine. He healed him so that he could walk again, but more than that, he taught him that God loves him, that God has loved him for the whole of his life and that God wants the very best for him. And that meant that this guy was unbelievably happy. And we saw him in that video, didn't we? Running and leaping and praising God. And we're going to do that now as we sing our next song. Uh, if you know the action to it, we did it in Holiday Club. Do join in with them. Uh, we're going to sing, I'm going to jump up and down. such a lot when you got not a lot you feel a little bit like the man uh, who Peter healed in our Bible story as we sing that song uh, and as we send our praise to heaven as well. To help us think a little bit more about the story we've got a crafter that you can join in with so hopefully uh, you have got a kit like this uh, and there's a sheet you can print out uh, and then some little pins uh, to put everything together and what we're going to be making is a guy a bit like this. So if you colour everything in first of all on your sheet uh, and then cut the bits out. Uh, this main bit here, it's this bit here, I'm going to fold it up and glue along the edge and then where each of the little black dots is, if you get something like a sharp pencil or a point, uh, you can poke those through and put on your arms and legs and we're going to fold them up so that they spring and bounce. Uh, they all look the same. And then using your uh, your lolly stick uh, and the bits of string. First of all, put this piece of string on so that your uh, leaping man is uh, balancing off that. And then tie these ones on so you're just lifting those feet up. And then you can get him to jump up and down and leap around. So just like in the story, uh, he can run and leap and praise God. So why don't you uh, hit pause on the video uh, and go and make your man. Right, hopefully you have made your uh, You've made your craft now and you've got your man. We're going to tell the story again in a song. Uh, and when we get to the chorus, uh, which goes when walking and leaping and praising God, you can take your men and you can join in uh, with that part of the song. So this is a song called Peter and John Went to Pray. Silver and gold have I none, but 
such as I have I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He went walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Fantastic. Hopefully you managed to get uh, your men to leap and walk uh, and jump up and down and praise God as we sang that song. One of the reasons that Peter and John went to pray was that they wanted to praise God all the time. But they were always looking for opportunities to share the best thing that they had with other people. And that was their faith in Jesus and their trust in all the things that he had taught them and done for them. Uh, and as disciples, as people who want to follow Jesus, we should do the same thing. So when you get a chance to, if someone says, what's the best thing that you have to share with other people? If you're feeling bold, just like Peter was, you could tell them that one of the best things in your life that you want to share with other people is your faith in Jesus. A faith that makes us jump up and down and sing and shout and fills us with joy. And particularly in this season, after Easter, when we're celebrating Jesus having risen from the dead, we want to be able to share that good news with everybody. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes and we're going to pray. Father God, we thank you that Jesus coming to be with us is the greatest gift that any of us can ever receive. We thank you for the joy of being able to follow him, the forgiveness of our sins and the great peace of knowing that God loves us and God cares for us. Help us share that good news with anyone who is ready to listen. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So as we come to the end of our service today, uh, we're going to use uh, our sending out liturgy. So uh, do join in with this. So each of the things I say, if you can reply, God sends us out. God gives us the talents and gifts to shine like stars in the world. In the power of the Holy Spirit, God sends us out. In our homes, at work and at rest, God sends us out. To those with plenty and those in need, God sends us out. In Barrow and beyond, God sends us out. To build God's kingdom and show God's love, God sends us out. To bring back stories of all that God has done, God sends us out. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to end with one last song as we sing one, two, three. Jesus is alive. <laughs> God loved the world, God loved the world, so he gave his son, so he gave his 
son, Jesus is our friend, Jesus is our friend, he loves everyone, he loves everyone. God loved the world, God loved the world, so he gave his son, so he gave his son, Jesus is our friend, Jesus is our friend. is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. Put on day three. Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive.